Hello everybody, I'm Bill Dance, and you're watching Outdoors in the Bluegrass. Outdoors in the Bluegrass is made possible by Academy Sports and Outdoors, for all for less. Lose, feel the difference. Strike King Lures, tie one on. Digital Effects Wraps, advertise the wrap way. Hoghead Trailer Sales, we're all about trailers. in Stearns, Kentucky, at the Big South Fork Scenic Railway. So we'll be giving you some pictures and so forth. There goes Miss Brenda. This is the uh, museum building. We haven't been in there yet. We just got here. This is the uh, train we're going to be riding today. They have two cars that's closed. And you have the couple cars that are open. Nifty. There's the old train station, the old train. There goes Miss Brenda to the museum. This is her second trip. I forgot to give her a ticket to get in. So there she goes again up to the museum. Me and those stairs don't get along. And me and museums don't get along. So I'm sitting here in the shade on a bench at the railway station. 
There she goes. She's made it to the top again. Yeah, you care about gear ratios, inches per turn and ball bearings, but most importantly, you want reliability and dependability in the equipment you use. Luz doesn't cut corners when it comes to the gear they build. The new Speed Spool LFS is the best $99 reel in the market. Go see for yourself. Warriors Tackle Supply. Get tight lines. Trailers. We're all about trailers. Here we are. Now coming up very fast on our left, you're going to be seeing the Bill Pons and the locomotive shop buildings for the Big South Fork Scenic Railway and the Kentucky and Tennessee Railway.
video, you won't hear much of the uh, announcer because of the brakes. We were uh, going downhill all the way and then uphill on the way back. Here we are, folks, at the Somerset, Texas Roadhouse. We're going in at East State. You better smile. All you gotta do is say your name, you're gonna be on television. What? Outdoors in the bluegrass.com. TV show. We've been on the air, this is our third year. Yes. Really? And we've been to the train ride and we come in to East State. What's your name? I'm Tyler. Tyler? That's, that's who who's going to make, make this film, Tyler. How dare you. We are here. Okay, folks. We just left the Texas Roadhouse. Had a steak. Blooming onion. Salad. Sweet potato. Baked sweet potato. It made your day. Made my day. Especially that blooming onion. And a small glass of beer. So, we're on our way back to Danville. We just left the roadhouse. Great place to eat. I promote them, even though they don't sponsor us. That's the best steakhouse there is, Texas Roadhouse. Oh, I forgot the peanuts. And you just throw them on the floor. The shells, that is. But it was, uh, it was a great day. I hope you enjoy the uh, train, the scenery, the food, the lake, because we sure did. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video as, as much as we uh, did in making it. You got anything else for them, dear? just a fun day and uh, met a lot of nice people and really friendly people and uh, from they were from all over everywhere really I forgot where all they said they were from one was from Georgia but we met a lot of nice people and was talking to them and um, that's part of our having fun is meeting new people so but um, it was good Tyler will get this all put together nice and neat where it'll make sense to everybody huh We hope you enjoy it as much as we enjoyed doing it, and we'll see you on the next trip. Take care. God bless. Every time we go fishing, you know we got to tie one on. In all honesty, when do I not tie one on? <laughs> Every time I go on the water, I love to tie one on. Every day of the week, I like to tie one on. You may not know this about me, but every once in a while, I've been known to tie one on. Come on, man. Join the Strike King team. All you got to do, tie one on. <laughs> I think I always tie one on. Chuck the Devil Dog and Brenda and we're on another road trip. We're heading towards uh, Little Nashville in Indiana. We're celebrating our 58th wedding anniversary and this is where Mother wanted to go. So we're going to go up. Yeah, that's been several years. So we're going to spend a couple days on the road at Nashville and what have you. take pictures as we go and uh, hopefully we'll have it on the, on the air for you to look at and should be interesting we have been there for a while see what's around a lot of shopping a lot of walking a lot of stores the covered bridge I think there's one is 
there a covered bridge up here? I think so, yes. Where at? Well, it's on the way to Little Nashville. It's on that road. Oh, uh, okay. Going well, into a park or something. We might see a covered bridge. So, uh, we're on our way. We're on I-65 North right now. First store, and we've already spent a hundred dollars. <laughs> see what I mean? You better bring your bank with you when you come to Little Nashville. That's not that bad. Let's see the shirt you want. Sweatshirt. Oh, where's the sweatshirt? There you go. See? Oh, that's cute. Here's some of the stores. These are just the first things we've come across. Unique place. General store. Oh, look at the little covered bridge. Where are we at? Behind me? It's a neat place. Just really neat. There's a choo choo train ride you can take around the town. They also have horse and buggies. We'll be out later. That we're going to take a ride on that. Choo-choo train, and what is your name, driver? Uh, Tammy. Tammy, you're gonna be on television. Oh, okay. Just go to Outdoors in the Bluegrass. Hello and welcome to the Nashville Express. My name is Tammy, and I'll be your tour guide for about the next 25 minutes or so. First, I'd like to tell you about the train that you're riding on here. Now, it has been in business down here since the early 1970s. It's a uh, been here for over 45 years which makes it one of the oldest businesses here in the county now the owner of the train brad cox is the welder artist who does the little animals over here in front of Farron's ice cream and he does have a bigger studio out off of state road 46 where he does bigger projects now the county down here was obtained from the native americans by the signing of the treaty of fort wayne in 1809 now most of the Indians that were here were either Shawnee or uh, Miami or Delaware. And the pioneers who came to this area primarily came from states like Tennessee, Kentucky, and Virginia. And when they had first arrived, they were so thrilled because it really seemed like the states in which they had just left. Now the county itself was named after Major General Jacob Brown. He was a war hero who defeated the British in the War of 1812. 
Now over here on your left, the artist colony inn and restaurant you see was built in honor of the artists who started arriving here in the early 19th you know, century for it and they buried it saying they never wanted to see that old pump handle again. I can't say I blame them when we camped primitive and had to bring water in. It was, it was a chore. Now the candy emporium there on your left has hard to find candies from your childhood. This is a street you wanted to come down. The Mulberry Cottage up here has women's clothing of a vintage flair. And the Hobnob Restaurant sits up here on the right. Now they do serve breakfast on the weekends. It was the Taggart's General Store in the 1800s. Now they have great uh, dinner and lunch. There goes the local police. Okay, we're gonna go back through yeah, 1838. the covered bridge, 1838. I'm sure it's been restored. Nice. Okay. Love the covered bridges. Okay, folks. Hate to say it, but we're on our way back home to Kentucky. Just left the motel. We've seen all the sights little Nashville that we wanted to see and so forth. Had a good trip. Had a good anniversary trip. So uh, this will conclude our trip to Nashville on our wedding anniversary. 58 years. We'll see y'all later.